not even an easy thing to do. And I hate the fact I have to do it. And it looks like it's going to have to be modified straight out of the packet. But what's unusual about that? I have to go looking for tools to do something that I don't want to do. Putting, putting the, uh, well, can you guess what this is that I look this unhappy? You know what this is. I'm not even going to tell you. I actually forgot to put this back in before I put this back in. So getting a screwdriver to it um, isn't really easy. Can I get this to it? I need a little screwdriver and a ratchet, but I don't have one of those. Move that out of the way. What if I go down the other side of that wire? Tight enough? Yeah, tight enough. That's not coming undone. Right, now how can we uh, how can we hide this horrible thing? I hate this thing. Right, it needs to go through there, along here, underneath that, and then up to here. Okay? Yeah. This makes me so sad doing this. Let's go from the other side. I took absolutely no notice of what bolts I removed to remove this thing, so I don't really know. I know that I have to take this off. Because that much is obvious. Then I need to go underneath the ABS controller, which I will disconnect the battery before I mess with that. Should probably leave it for 20 minutes or something as well. But um, if I don't, and it pops, just call it good YouTube. Because you guys will have a great time. I will not have such a great time. However, um, maybe then I'll be famous. The guy that got smacked in the head by the passenger side airbag of an every. Make a good title. Click the bait. Oh, duck under this real quick. About to disconnect the earth of this airbag controller. <laughs> Bang. So far, so good. under it now yeah there we go right put that on there put this on here um, that doesn't actually stay on there anymore so I'll zip tie it on uh, it needs a it's an AM8 bolt holds this wire on here we'll get that on as well Ugh. everything's all slimy let's put some coolant in this thing comes in a bag.
Mikey. That's a bit shit. I'll do this all again in about a week. Um, a week of driving it. Just so that it's, um, so that it's nice. Now I need to add water to it, so let's do that. I've got fittings on fittings. Doesn't look to be any leaks on the in underside of the car, so... We've got no more bubbles coming up, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's any good. Give the bottom pipe a bit of a squeeze. Oh yeah, more bubbles. Inside the engine bay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Looks to be alright. Um, I kind of want to start the engine up, get the water to go through. So in order to do that I need to put oil in the engine. Introducing the new GoPro 7. Frustration in filming. Today's uh, oil filter will be brought to you by... I'm not <laughs> sponsor that. Um, one of these. That's got to go under there. Do that and then put oil in it. I'll try and lighten this in post so you can see this turbo. Um, this isn't stock. The turbo might be stock, but the wastegate, the actuator setup is not very weird indeed. Doing an oil filter on one of these is really easy because it's um, it's right there. All right, you just chuck your oil panny thing under there and just reach under and give her a twist if it wasn't put on by a moron. I'm gonna put the oil filter on with a rattle gun. Cause I'm a dickhead. Yo. Right now this oil catch tanky thing. I'm just gonna get this all in my hand real quick. It has a uh, little storage space for you to put the filter so that it can drain and you don't get it everywhere like all over your hand like I just did. Excellent. Right once all that's sort of dripped out of there I'll put in the new filter and then fill it up with oil. Now this is a topic of much debate. Do you put a uh, a, like a, a smearing of oil on the rubber that's on the outside of this. Um, I do because I've been taught to do that so that's what I do. So I'm going to grab some of this oil off here, a bit of that shit, rub it around the outside and put it on. But I can't do that with uh, one hand so camera goes down. Really had enough of dealing with GoPro problems. Got my oil in my container here with the old bendy nozzle so that, ooh, hello, yeah. Uh, so that I can get it in that uh, there without without needing a funnel. In the manual, it says between th I think it's three liters for no oil filter change and 3.2 with an oil filter change. We did the oil. I put in roughly three point something. Uh, so uh, now that it's got oil in it, we can start it up. We can attempt to start it up anyway. It hasn't started in a few weeks. I don't actually remember how long it's been. You might remember from previous episodes. Um, what do you reckon we try and start it? Without an air filter. Um, the exhaust is, oh, no exhaust either. No muffler, so it's gonna be pretty loud. Let's just find out if it runs. Um, yeah, I want to know if it runs. So let's start this thing up, even though it's going to be obnoxiously loud. Need to connect the battery. Need to set off an airbag. Right, um, the airbag is connected up again. We've got our... That cap is on, doesn't appear to be leaking. Um, we've got our parking brake lock works again because I connected up this thing. Um... No air box, but it doesn't really matter. I can't find the bolts. I don't know what I've done with them. They've got to be here somewhere, but where? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. I have lost the key though. That does matter. Oh wait, no, here it is. It's right there. Look at that. Right there. Okay. So, um, wish me luck. Wish me luck. One click. Can we have boost controller? Yep. There's boost controller. Um, radio is on. No speakers connected to it though. The USB is lighting up. The accessories is working and we have that horrible beep.
ETC works. Um, check engine light is on. We're ready. Runs. And that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you'd like to see what happens next, press subscribe. If you enjoy this channel and you would like to support it, get your name on the Garage K door or pick up some merch. Details on those are in the description, so check that out. I'll see you in the next one. Later.